Hi. In this video, we'll look at one of our favorite new synthesizers in Live 9.5. It's a Max for Live synthesizer called Multi, and it's available in the new Max for Live Essentials pack, which has been updated to include three new synthesizers, Bass, Multi, and Poly. If you take a look at Multi, you'll see that there are six synthesis modes, and they're labeled with graphics, not with text. Each synthesis mode also gives you four meta knobs, which change depending on the synthesis mode you're using. In this sense, Multi is quite similar to the feel of the Teenage Engineering OP1 synthesizer. If you're confused about what's offered in Multi, you can go to the Max for Live Essentials pack in the pack browser, right click, select Show Default Lesson, and then click on Multi. And here you'll see a run through of all six modes and what each knob is doing in each mode. So let's take a listen to what we've got. The first mode here is Feedback FM. Got some shiny bell-like tones. One cool thing is that in addition to editing the individual knobs, you can also click this random button to randomize all four knobs and give you some inspiring new ideas for sound design. Moving on with the synthesis modes, we've got mono ARP, which often sounds rather spacey. Got kind of a Bernard Fevre, Georges Moroder sound there. Then we have this super saw oscillator, which gives you eight detuned saws. It's very ravey. <laughs> then we have my personal favorite, which is a sample player. It works kind of, it's a bit of a rompler. It kind of feels like a Mellotron with the sounds it's got. So there's a uh, piano, a Celesta, choir, definitely feels like a Mellotron there, an atmospheric synth sound, and finally this rave hoover. And for each one of these sounds, you've got some interesting options. You've got a chord that you can pick, and you've got split, which moves between the chord being very tight and being a little bit looser, to the point where it's really just a step arpeggiator. Finally, you've got a dry wet control, which moves between the root note and the chord. Got that beautiful sound, kind of reminds me of the machine drum track, Infinite Us. Next synth mode we've got is car plus strong string synthesis. It's a physical modeling synthesis using short delays and comb filtering to model the physics of a string. And then finally, there's this wonderful additive synthesis, which gives you somewhat alien sounds. So it's really an inspiring instrument, and again, if you ever get lost or feel like you're not quite sure what you're doing, just go ahead and head over to the default lesson here, which uh, for Max for Live Essentials, and head to Multi, and you'll see exactly what you need to see about what you're doing. I've taken Multi, and I've uh, put it on a track with the piano mode, and run it through the MS-20 model, one of the new filter models in AutoFilter, run it through a few other things. And I've added it to the break that we were working on, this new break that we made with instant breaks uh, using a cut up break into single shots from our last video. And I've made a little track out of it, so let's hear some. Thanks for checking out this video. Make sure to check out more fun videos and other information uh, about Live 9.5 on createdigitalmusic.com.